let's see what simple interest means we already know that when we borrow money we have to pay interest on that and when we deposit money in the bank the bank pays us interest and we know that amount equals principal plus interest now how much interest do we pay to the bank or the bank pays to us how do we know that different banks at different times charge you different interest and that charge that interest is typically defined as a percentage on the principal what does it mean it means that the bank says that per 100 rupees that you borrow you pay this much amount as interest we know that percent means per 100 when the interest is charged as a percentage that means it's charged per 100 rupees and this is called as the rate of interest or interest rate so the bank defines the interest rate and based on that interest rate you pay that interest to the bank when you borrow money and if you deposit money then the bank will pay you based on that interest rate the bank will pay you more money so let's take an example suppose you borrow 1000 rupees at 5% interest rate so how do you calculate the interest it is exactly like calculating the percentage we know how to calculate the percentage so it is like calculating 5% of 1000 Five percent of thousand equals thousand multiplied by five divided by hundred. So let's cancel out two zeros in the numerator and two in the denominator. So you have ten multiplied by five. Ten fives are fifty. So the interest is fifty. That means if you borrow thousand rupees at five percent interest rate, the interest that you will have to pay is fifty rupees. it's very easy is just like calculating the percentage now when i said that interest is defined as a percentage on the principal that is defined as a percentage per year that means it also depends on how many years you are going to use the money in this example if you use this money if you use Thousand rupees at five percent rate for one year, then the interest is fifty rupees, right? Because this interest rate is per year. So if you use this money for one year, you pay fifty rupees as interest, and your amount will be one thousand fifty. What if you borrow it for two years? Then this interest is per year. So for the first year, you have to pay fifty. and for the second year you have to pay another 50 that means the total interest is 100 rupees and the amount is 1100 if you borrow for 3 years you have to add yet another 50 so the total interest will be 150 for 3 years and the amount will be 1000 plus 150 which is 1150 so this kind of calculation that we did for 1000 rupees at 5% interest rate the kind of interest we calculated for every year like one year two years three years this kind of calculation that we did that is called as simple interest so what we calculated just now is all simple interest if you look at all these values of interest of simple interest what do you see what does the interest depend on the first thing is obviously it depends on the principal instead of 1000 if the principal was 2000 or 5000 the interest will change right so the simple interest depends on the principal what else it also depends on the rate of interest in our example the interest rate is 5% if it was 10% if it was 20% the interest would have definitely changed 
that means the simple interest also depends on rate of interest and if you look at the table below you can see that it also depends on the period of time because the interest changes when the time is one year or two years or three years so we understand that the simple interest depends on principal rate of interest and period of time so is there a formula to calculate simple interest yes this is the formula simple interest equals principal multiplied by rate of interest multiplied by period of time divided by 100 or in short form you can write it like this i equals p r t divided by 100 p is principal r is rate of interest and t is period of time so let's see if this formula works for our example let's consider the last row here three years and the interest was 150 when we calculated before so let's apply this formula and check this out we have to do p multiplied by r multiplied by t so we get 1000 which is p multiplied by 5 which is r multiplied by t because we are doing it for three years divided by 100 let's cancel out the zeros so we get 10 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 3 5 threes are 15 and 15 tens are 150 so the answer is 150 it matches with the interest we calculated so we see that this formula works well this is the formula we will use to solve simple interest problems